Good morning. Hope we're having a good day so far today. Just uh, heading to work, thinking about what I read this morning in God's book, God's Word, the Bible. I was reading this morning uh, all the way back at the start, back in Genesis. Genesis chapter 3 where it says that God formed the man out of the dust of the earth and then he gave the man responsibility and then he formed the woman out of the man's rib to be his quote unquote helper his helper that is the purpose of the wife now that doesn't make her less or more that was just what she was designed for what does that mean well it means that we're all made differently especially man and woman a man will never understand the thoughts of a woman and a woman will never understand the thoughts of a man without their help communication the helper but in doing that, we have to understand that God has an order and a purpose for everything. And for our marriages to be successful, we have to follow that order. And the order is that the man is the head of the household. Now, we have so many breakdowns in the family unit today in this society because the man simply is not being the man. Now that doesn't mean that we're lording over our wives and we're commanding everything that they do. No. If we are following God like we're supposed to, then that will all fall in place. You know, we're told that the man is to be the leader of the house. And he's to love his wife as Christ loved the church, which means he is to be willing to die for her. And when he does that, then he deserves the respect that the wife was called to do. It has to be in God's order. If I'm not following Jesus Christ, then I can't expect to be the head of my household because Jesus is not the head of me. I'm following the leader. And when I'm following the leader, my wife doesn't care to follow me. Because the leader, Jesus Christ, has a perfect plan. And who can't get behind a perfect plan? Everyone can. But make no mistake, you know, Satan is out to destroy that plan. Now, he understands that he can't defeat God, but he can cause chaos here on the earth. And he does that by weakening the man. We live in a society of weak men. And it's really because I would like to blame the men, but it's really because they didn't have the men in their life that they were supposed to have. I can't blame this generation of men because it was the my generation of men that failed them. We failed them in that we ain't teach them how to be men. Because to be honest, without God, we don't know how to be men. And Satan is having a field day destroying marriages right and left. And how does he do it? Well, it's not a it's, it's not a new trick, unfortunately. We as humans don't learn from our mistakes. It's the same trick that he pulled in the Garden of Eden. What did he do? Well, he did a role reversal. He asked the woman to make a decision. And the problem with that was, was that the man stood to the side and allowed that to happen. God did not give his instruction to Eve. God gave his instruction to Adam. And he told Adam very clearly what was to transpire for them to prosper. 
Now, obviously, Adam did not convey that properly to Eve because when Satan questions her about the forbidden fruit, she messes it all up. You know, she says, God said we can't even look at it. If we look at it, we'll die. Well, no, God didn't say that. God told Adam he could not eat of it, and if he eat of it, he would surely die. But Adam, as the head of the household, failed to convey that to the rest of his family. And men, that is our job. That is our job first and foremost, is to disciple our family. And I, we fall short. I fall short. I don't do it as well as I should. But that's not an excuse. You know, it's not that I've failed. I can start today and be better at discipling my family. That is my number one mission in life, is to make disciples. He says, Jesus told us that we are to make disciples of all people. Well, that starts with making disciples in our household. You know, if every man made a disciple in his household, then we would be disciples of all people. But that's not happening for whatever reason. We depend on other people. We depend on the pastor at the church or the Sunday school teacher. God is not going to hold accountable the pastor of my church because my family was not discipled properly. He's going to hold Kevin responsible. And the question is, is how seriously do we take that responsibility? Do we shuck it off? And do we just say, well, someone else will do it? For too many years, that's what's been happening, is we've been dependent on other people to do it. Even depending upon our wives to do it. That's, guys, that's not our wives' responsibility. It is their responsibility to help us disciple our household. It is not their responsibility to disciple it. Let's make no mistake about it. God will hold the man accountable for his household. He always has and he always will. And we are not taking that as a society, as men. We're not taking that seriously enough. And that is why we see the eroding of our society. It's all happening just like the devil planned it. Role reversal. What do we hear now? We need gender equality. No, we don't need gender equality. We need, we need Jesus following, not gender equality. If we have Jesus following, if we have biblical truth following, then we don't ever have to have a debate. Because I'm going to tell you, I heard Jerry Chaddick say it years ago. There is not a woman on this planet that will not follow a man that is following and sold out for Jesus Christ. Not a good woman. He said not a good woman. So, if you know, if your wife can't get behind that, mm, that's a problem. But, we as men have to be serious about our walk with God. If we're not serious about it, then we can't expect our family to be serious about it. It's just not going to happen. The old do as I do, don't do as, I mean, do as I say, don't do as I do, that don't work, especially in our walk with Christ. They're looking at you. Your wife's looking at you. Your kids are looking at you. The outside world is looking at you, men. And the question is, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to cower down and just keep doing what you're doing? And watch our society decay more and more? And complain about it like everyone else does, including me at times? We're not supposed to complain. We're supposed to do something. And Jesus Christ made the way for us to do that by following him. We don't have to come up with some grand and elaborate plan to fix our family or to fix this country. The plan has already been laid out. And it is simply, follow me. 
is what Jesus says. Follow me. I hope everyone has a great day today. I hope God blesses you in an immense way. And men, I hope you are discipling your family as you should. Lead by example. And your example is Jesus Christ. God bless you.